Good evening, you all. Hope you can hear me. So please, as always, let me know if you can. Okay, so we can make sure of that. Uh, fantastic. Thank you so much for letting me know. I appreciate that. And uh, I am your host again. It's Caroline. And uh, today it's our second online patient meeting. So I am happy to see you. Possibly you already have uh, joined us during our first, uh, our previous um, meeting. Uh, but if not, uh, please just let me remind you that uh, we are going to be here every single day uh, and our initiative initiative stronger together has been created also because we know how difficult times are now and we know how uh, so, so many patients are struggling with uh, with um, not being able to proceed with their treatments so we have come up with this uh, idea with this initiative stronger together so that we can give you the opportunity to ask the questions to the top experts uh, in the fertility field so we will have plenty of um, events coming okay and also um, as you already see we have two guests tonight and so there is Dr. Bogna Sobkiewicz and also Dr. Swavomir Sobkiewicz. Both of them are working for Salva Medica, which is located in Poland. And also you will be able to ask them your questions. And the topic for today is five most common concerns about egg donation and uh, just before we start let me just introduce you to our partners so as you know it wouldn't be possible without them so it's donor conception network national national fertility society fertility clinics abroad egg donation friends.com and where ivf.com so um this is how it's going to look like we will start with a short introduction from um dr bogna and then we will answer most common questions in regards to the egg donation um, uh, of course okay but right after that we will simply uh, show your questions so remember you can type those questions in the chat section so that uh, both doctors are able to answer them for you. Uh, this is a live event that is being recorded, so you will still have a chance to rewatch it. And uh, well, I will. I guess that will be it from me at this point. And Dr. Swavomir, Dr. Vogna, are you ready to begin? Good evening. Good evening. Perfect. Thank you. Go ahead with uh, with the uh, short introduction, Dr. Bogna. My name is Avami Sobkiewicz. I am working as, uh, as a gynecologist 40 years on infertility field uh, since uh, 20 years. And uh, I am a specialist in gynecology and endocrinology uh, reproduction. And my daughter, uh, Dr. Bogna Sobkiewicz, she is working five years on this uh, infertility uh, field and uh, we are working together in Salva Medica in Lodz and in Salva Medica in Warsaw. Okay. Can we? Can you hear us? Yes. Sorry, I can hear you. There was. Thank you interruption but uh, i am right here so don't worry uh, okay thank you so much for that and as i mentioned now uh, we will start with most common questions from patients so um let me go to the very first one okay so it is how important is the law legislation for egg donation programs and what should i pay attention to um for us, it is um, very important because we have to uh, act as the law sa says. So um, there is some uh, the question. There is some question from our patient uh, from abroad that uh, are very difficult for us because uh, we are obligated by the law in Poland that and we cannot. Um, um, 
perform the IVF treatment in all patients that we would like to do. For example, uh, we are not allowed to do uh, IVF uh, treatment in patients that uh, they are not, uh, not for only for the opposite sex couples. Uh, also, the single uh, lady are also not allowed to uh, have the IVF treatment. Uh, in Poland, we do not uh, conduct, uh, we do not have the surrogacy, uh, sur surrogacy, surrogacy. program. And um, also, the age uh, is uh, a limit for us. And also, we do not conduct all the um, uh, embryo tests. Only we do the test in medical reason. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you for um, introducing this to us as well. Uh, so you already have mentioned that, but uh, so is there an age limit for the recipient at your clinic in Poland? In Poland, it is not low to age for limit for recipient, but uh, our society limited uh, this uh, age. Uh, uh, to uh, 50 years, no more. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you for uh, confirming this. So, just to summarize, the there is no law doesn't say that there is a limit, age limit, but of course, it's advised that it will be like a uh, maximum 50. Yes, yes, yes that's perfect. True. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, and uh, what is the maximum BMI index for egg donation program? It is difficult to, to say, but of course. Uh, it will be better that it will be normal way, way, uh, BMI, no more than 30, but of course uh, 35, it is, uh, in my opinion, uh, the, uh, big, uh, the most, uh, maximum BMI, because after 35, in my opinion, uh, firstly, should it be a form uh, diet or uh, in <clears throat> some operation? You have before uh, IV uh, donation programs. That's also the problem. It's not uh, if there's any limitation, but if we know that the BMI have an uh, influence on the success rate, <coughs> we do not advise our uh, patient to have the um, egg donation because we know that the, re the success rate is, is lower. And we uh, encourage our um, patient to reduce, reduce the weight and then have the uh, IVF treatment because it's, it's just better for them. It's more uh, successful. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you for your advice then as well. All right. Let me go straight to your, the next question. So, how many embryos can be transferred at the clinic in Poland? In Poland, it is limited uh, uh, amount of uh, embryos who, uh, which uh, can we uh, transfer it. Uh, two uh, embryos are uh, the most uh, is maximum uh, embryos where we can uh, uh, transfer it. Of course, uh, on the uh, West Europe uh, or uh, in Europe. Uh, we uh, say that it is better when we have a good embryos to transfer only one embryo because, of course, a chance to be pregnant is bigger when uh, when we transfer two embryos, uh, good embryos. But uh, of course, when it will be uh, Gamali, it, it is a problem because uh, um, amount of miscarriages is uh, bigger. Especially that the, um, for egg donation, our patients are older than 40. And uh, for them, the twin or more uh, um, fetus pregnancy is even more risky. And it's, as, uh, as um, Dr. Sopkiewicz said, is the miscarriage rate is bigger, but also the um, primus, uh, preterm um, birth is more common. So you have to always um, think about it that the chances are bigger, but also the chance for uh, um, premature birth is also higher. So um, you have to always think um, about more than one uh, um, thing when you think about the trans uh, transfer. So the IVF clinic, it is, uh, big chance, uh, bigger chance to transfer more embryos, 
but of course to take home ba uh, home baby it, it is uh, bigger when we transfer only one uh, em good embryos mm -hmm. perfect thank you so much again for um for answering this uh, important question okay let me go to the next one what uh, information can i get about the donor in poland we can say uh, how many uh, how old is the uh, uh, donor uh, egg donor in poland and we can say if have uh, uh, children or not and uh, we can say uh, say uh, uh, if uh, we perform before a donor program with this uh, donor but we couldn't uh, get more information about uh, uh, social status or the, uh, another uh, healthy uh, or the, we can perform the healthy tests which are uh, normal for the IVF procedure, but we couldn't get um, uh, more and accurate. accurate information about the uh, donor. We always ask uh, our donors about the um, uh, health status, about the family uh, health status, uh, but uh, it is not allowed to have the home uh, uh, to see the, the family. So we always ask and uh, check the, the patient about the uh, virus status, about the uh, physical and mental health. Uh, we always ask about mm -hmm. if they have their children also or not. But uh, it's always um, their own um, free will to um, say us everything. But normally we do not have uh, the, the patient, the, the, the donors are very uh, open for us. And if they already decide to be a donor, they want to share all this information and that's not a problem. However, uh, we, normally they do not uh, allow us to share the photos or, uh, or uh, but they, um, but they always uh, help us with uh, all anonymous information we can uh, provide as, as much as we can. And um, uh, I would like to say that uh, always uh, we uh, also ask about all the phenotype uh, features and uh, group, uh, blood group as well. We talked mm -hmm. uh, uh, along with a, uh, with a, a donor, who, uh, a women who, are, who would be a donor, and we can say that not all women who are coming to us uh, will be a donor. Uh, uh, um, according to, of course, to the health uh, uh, status, but uh, when we are talking and we can uh, much get now, get now uh, who is, is this uh, the, uh, future donor? Sometimes we don't decide uh, uh, that this women, this woman should be a donor. All right, thank you. And uh, are you able to only uh, like uh, donors can be of Polish nationality or or not necessarily? Uh, all uh, our donors are uh, Polish nationality. But it's not. It's not because we do. It's just because uh, most of them there are. We do not have an uh, from different country. That's that's the only reason. Actually, okay. we do not have any limitation. But all of our uh, donors are from Poland. Perfect. Thank you for clarifying that as well. And thus matching the phenotype donor uh, versus recipient guarantee that the child will look like me. Uh, we have uh, some uh, features which we evaluate when we try to uh, take uh, uh, eggs from the donor to the donor programs uh, and of course uh, with a, a group of blood and of course uh, uh, another feature and uh, of course it is a difficult to say that will be uh, a clone of uh, a future recipients but uh, we can know that normal uh, the children are the same uh, mixing of uh, eggs and uh, 
and uh, sperm. and sperm and uh, very rare is our uh, like uh, uh, parents or... uh, like a parents we say I always uh, when my patient asks me I'll always say uh, that for example in our family I'm the only one who is blonde and uh, I'm very similar to my parents but the only only I uh, have the blonde hair so it's not always even if you are perfect sure that you are the biological child you don't it doesn't mean you look like your parents actually Fantastic! Thank you so much for uh, for 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 saying that. Yeah, I mean, uh, I believe lots of patients are worried about this, and it shows that uh, genetics can be tricky anyway. So, thank That's you true. so much. Okay, and uh, let me go to the next one. Should I use fresh or frozen donor eggs? Is the outcome from frozen donor eggs lower than from fresh oocytes? It uh, it is in my opinion it is any difference uh, why because we are working uh, twelve years with uh, vitrification of eggs and uh, our embryologists are very experienced when it was uh, introduced uh, vitrification in Europe in uh, twenty eight uh, we learned this procedure a uh, few times in uh, uh, Spain and uh, we collaborate with uh, people from japan and uh, our embryologists are very very experienced and in my opinion it is any difference of course i know that uh, future recipients uh, uh, prefer? prefer to fresh eggs and uh, we try to organize to perform a donor program with fresh eggs and the frozen uh, salmon. But of course, uh, our uh, experience with our frozen eggs, which we have from the, uh, another IVF program, uh, have the same uh, successful uh, rate uh, when in the fresh. It is depending on the experience of embryologists. And it's always easier to uh, conduct the, the procedure with the uh, frozen uh, the donor, uh, frozen eggs. And for a patient who, who live abroad, it's easier to um, to organize everything. And the, the rate isn't uh, hasn't changed for fresh and frozen, but it's easier to perform everything with, fro with, with uh, frozen and we transfer to uh, warm uh, uh, embryos and because embryos uh, uh, vitrification of embryos uh, it is uh, not the damage from uh, embryos uh, and uh, on this way we perform a donor program and on later uh, we uh, uh, perform only a transfer from the frozen uh, embryos, but in majority. Perfect. Thank you again for um, for the for all the details. Okay, let me go to next question. What is an optimal number of oocytes recipient gets from an egg donor for the egg donation cycle? In Poland, uh, uh, Polish law limited uh, uh, a number of eggs, uh, which can be. Uh, inseminated and uh, to six uh, on this way we perform uh, and uh, we g gave uh, uh, recipients uh, six eggs uh, and uh, on because on this uh, in this program um, average we have uh, two to four to five uh, embryos and on this way we can choose uh, the the best uh, embryos which will be uh, transfer the first uh, in the first transfers and thank you again for clarifying this one for us and uh, we have yet another one here and is it better to have a guaranteed number of all sites or guaranteed number of embryos in egg donation programs uh, we guaranteed a number of oocytes 
because a number of embryos is uh, depending on uh, uh, status of uh, semen the same. And on this way, we can perform our procedure uh, regularly and uh, normally, but we, can, uh, we can't say how many embryos will be uh, when we uh, inseminated uh, six uh, eggs. Uh, six eggs is the maximum embryo, uh, uh, eggs which we can uh, uh, perform uh, in, in uh, uh, procedure, IVF procedure. And uh, we are sure that from this amount of uh, eggs uh, will be uh, minimum two, maximum six, but uh, uh, already average it is between three, four uh, embryos. And we can say that will be. Of course, these embryos can be a different quality, but because the uh, 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 quality of semen could be a different. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Thank you again for uh, that answer. And now let me go to this question. What about miscarriages after egg donation programs? Are they statistically lower than after IVF cycles with own eggs? Um, uh, we, you have to know that the, um, when the, the patient, when the women are after uh, 35 years old, the quality of uh, all side of the egg is uh, diminishing every year. And uh, the but the miscarriage rate is higher and higher every every year, and uh, the miscarriage um, rate is much uh, uh, lower with the egg donation programs. But I would like to have would like to uh, say that um, a lot of patients come to us and they already have some miscarriage uh, in their medical history, and it's very important before they came to us and it is very important to solve and to check if there is another problem about the miscarriage because um, uh, of their own natural cycle and uh, it is important to to uh, diagnose it and to solve the if there is any uh, to find uh, any um, reason why the miscarriage occurs uh, and uh, the IVF um, procedure is not a solution for the miscarriage uh, history. I would like to um, emphasize it because uh, the, the, the couple come to us with such a problem and it's, uh, it's difficult for us to, uh, to um, explain uh, that, that uh, the problem probably is somewhere else and you have to find it uh first before the ivf uh, cycle and thank you again for that answer and actually that was uh, our last uh, question when it comes to those most common uh, questions you will receive um, now of course it means it's time for our patients questions and there are plenty of those already so um, let me go straight to them. Let me just uh, show it to you. It will be a longer one, so just let me show it. Hello, I am 46 year old and have done three donor eggs IVF. The first was fresh and resulted in a chemical pregnancy. The second with the same donor uh, was negative. Um, Embryo transfer with second donor was also, was also negative. I did a transfusion for the last two IVFs, but still nothing. No one has explained why it did not work. I have hypothyroidism, obese, and retroverted uterus. What would you advise me to look into? Uh, in my opinion, it should be uh, performed very exactly uh, uh, testes of uh, semen because in majority clinic it is performed only a basic uh, semen uh, testes and we know that there are some another feature in the semen which made that uh, uh, with a normal with the recipient x or donor x will be a problem when we had, uh, and it is depending, of course, uh, how what was the uh, quality of uh, embryos which were uh, 
uh, in the well, this free uh, donor uh, uh, cycles and how many ex received this uh, this lady uh, how many was inseminated what was quality of these embryos and what was uh, 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 quality of semen in another uh, uh, in the broading uh, expanded uh, tests of uh, semen. The second, it is uh, a genetic status of uh, uh, of uh, women and uh, uh, a man because sometimes uh, it could be a reason of uh, uh, very f f f just. Uh, mm. A miscarriage with a before uh, uh, tests of uh, pregnancy uh, because it could be a problem of immunology. In my opinion, retroverting uh, uterus, it is uh, when it is a normal uterus, it is any problem uh, in donor uh, programs. The hypothyroidism as well, because if it's well uh, well uh, treated, it's not a problem, and you have to believe us that sometimes it's very difficult to find the one uh, reason why something is going wrong and it uh, needs more and more and more uh, steps more tests and uh, even though it's sometimes difficult to to find the reason of the uh, fertility problem mm -hmm. all right thank you so much for your question and your advice okay uh, I'm sure that was uh, useful. Um, all right, so uh, now you already have actually mentioned uh, this, uh, or um, it's about the which donor is the best, frozen or fresh, but if you could add anything to this. It's, uh, as we said uh, before, um, there is no bigger, difference for us if we um, thinking about the rate rate but it's easier to to prepare and to uh, organize everything if we with the f uh, frozen we have already very good uh, vitrification program for our uh, for our embryos and uh, oocyte as well and um, mostly we do as that we um, Fertilize the oocyte. We uh, we uh, wait till the five day blast five day blast blastocyte, and then we do the vitrification. And in such program, our results are very very good. We use uh, in the majority fresh eggs, uh, but uh, uh, frozen uh, semen, and uh, and we uh, vitrificated uh, embryos and we transfer uh, to the donor uh, after the warming uh, uh, eggs, uh, uh, embryos. And uh, we have, of course, uh, frozen eggs. And in my opinion, after this 12 years experience, uh, in my opinion, in our clinic, it is any difference. And again, you so much for uh, sharing this uh, uh, again okay um now we have another question uh, in ukraine donors have to ch have child on their own do you select donor with proven fertility or is there option to have uh, such a donor uh, is it is not obligate for our uh, donors to have uh, to have a child but uh, a lot of, of them they have and of course uh, you can uh, ask for a donor with, uh, pro with uh, who has already uh, children some of uh, our uh, donors uh, in my opinion about uh, uh, 50 percent uh, have a uh, children but of course, for me, it is the most important to have a younger donor with a good uh, uh, health history and a good uh, MAH uh, when uh, uh, I have uh, uh, only uh, own child. Mm -hmm. 
Of course, it is depending on the policy of clinic. Mm -hmm. But okay, uh, add something. Just to emphasize that the, the, it's more important to have a younger donor with a good quality of oocyte with good level of AMA, AMA, MH, and then to have a more uh, to have a older with a child. Just just to the emphasis. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you. Um, okay, and so actually there is some kind of discussion that we are having also about the Asian donors in, in Poland. So I know you have mentioned you only have Polish uh, donors, but uh, is there anything you could uh, add? Uh, some patient wrote that they were able to have a donor. Uh, I can show you um, that is from Asia, in fact, in Poland. So uh, is there anything you could uh, comment on, on that, I mean? No, sorry but we don't have a Asian donor in, in our clinic. And I suppose because we do not have a lot of also, uh, that m most of the Polish clinic have, um, have uh, more um, only Caucasian uh, patient. Yes, of course, there are some society of uh, people from Vietnam in Poland, but uh, yeah. They, uh, they are not so as big. It is very limited, low, low and, uh, limited amount of these people, and we don't have Asian donor in, in our clinic. Mm -hmm. Thank you for confirming that and uh, for uh, commenting on this. Uh, there is quite a similar question, so, uh, but uh, about, uh, I mean, well, hi, I am Caucasian, but like to use a Spanish donor. Can I choose the ethnicity, sorry, of my donor, or am I only able to use like Caucasian? Uh... Sorry, uh, I think that uh, in Poland, we, uh, as we said, that we have only Caucasian, so we will, we will not uh, help you to find the Spanish donor. And actually, I haven't met uh, with uh, such a problem. Usually, patient would like to have as much similar um, children to themselves, so, so we are. We always uh, try to find <laughs> completely different. Uh, uh, we try to find as similar as we can, and uh, for us it would be impossible to find the Spanish. As I said, we all, most of our are Caucasian. But we don't uh, import uh, eggs from uh, Spain. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. That's definitely important to, to know as well. Um, all right, so let me go to the next uh, question for you. Uh, this is uh, the one. Do you have 100% money back guarantee IVF donation uh, program like other clinics in Europe and Spain? In my opinion, it is difficult uh, uh, to give a uh, 100 percent guarantee in IVF donor because in my opinion it is no, the question is uh, we guarantee the we guarantee the embryos and the, the, the amount of embryos but uh, if we do not have uh, the, the amount of that we guarantee then we have we give the money back but uh, we do not uh, have the guarantee of the of the um, pregnancy success. Uh, success. yeah mm -hmm. success because the uh, success in uh, ivf it is not depending on the uh, quality of uh, uh, embryos but it's depending on uh, uh, status of uh, recipient the same is there's a lot of thing that's so we guarantee the, the embryos, the amount of embryos, but we do not uh, guarantee the pre pregnancy and the live birth. Uh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you for um, commenting the, on that as well and for your question. And uh, now uh, let me go to this question. So what is the likelihood of fertility of the egg donor? I have read about ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome causing severe uh, side effects and fatalities. 
Uh, yes, but uh, the OHSS uh, syndrome is only when you are uh, stimulated for the uh, for the egg collection, and in uh, it doesn't. It's not a problem in the donor uh, program because you are not. You do not have the uh, ovarian stimulation. You have only the hormone for uh, luteal phase uh, supplementation, and uh, it doesn't cause the uh, ovarian uh, hyper uh, hyper stimulation syndrome. So, in donor program, it's not. Uh, it's uh, it's not a problem. You, the recipient uh, has uh, has no ovarian uh, stimulation. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. Um, we are waiting. Someone is definitely typing here, so uh, let's see. Um, okay, yeah, I do have the question. Okay, right here. Oh, uh, I guess uh, I would like to ask. Uh, can I? Can we? Yeah, sure. can, we always uh, think about our donors. Uh, we do. The, we uh, do care about them. So we we do not uh, we uh, overstimulate the patient. We also know that uh, the amount of uh, oocytes is important for us, but the health uh, status for our patient donor as well is very important, and we uh, take care about them as well as other any other patient so uh, we uh, we do not we do not try to overstimulate them of course uh, during um, procedure sometimes it's uh, it's hard to um to um uh, to adjust the, the amount of hormones, but it happens as well as uh, in other, and other patients, but uh, we uh, we take care about our patient all of them. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you for um, that uh, question, of course, as well, and for explaining this to us. I believe you already have mentioned this as well, but uh, just let me show you. Does donor need to have the same blood group? Yes, uh, in uh, uh, we uh, try to uh, select a donor uh, the same blood group uh, when we're recipient. Because we take um, we take under the consideration all of uh, the blood the blood group of uh, male and female as well. So we try to. Um, to match the best uh, solution we can uh, because it's in our uh, opinion it's easy to find out the, if the uh, group doesn't match it's it, it's easier than uh, it's it's problematic um, for my, our patient after few years some of couple want to, to say in the future a uh, children about uh, uh, on the start of their life, uh, and uh, they wanted to have, uh, and it will be a better for them when the children they have uh, the same blood group or uh, a group which could be a mixing of, uh, uh, of uh, a couple. Perfect. Thank you uh, so much again. Uh, I believe that uh, again someone is uh, typing so let's wait. We will be slowly finishing but of course uh, so so please just go ahead and type in all of your questions uh, so we can uh, so we can ask uh, both doctors to help you out. Okay. Uh, but in the meantime I would like to also ask you it's like if you could tell us what when usually you uh, you are you need to advise about to to go for egg donation. For example, if you have a patient that is, you know, uh, sometimes it's hard decision to actually um, to go for egg donation. Yes. Yeah? So is there like a, um, I would say like a patient where you know that uh, it's just time for for move on to to move on to egg donation? Yes, we advise our patient when they have um, that the over when we know that the ovaries fail to respond for the hormone stimulation after one or two procedures of the uh, of the IVF on their own uh, oocyte, when uh, we know that the patient has the early menopause uh, or the quality of 
eggs or the semen is uh, or uh, oocyte is low we also uh, advise to um, to look for the donor program uh, also with the, the patient with history of uh, genetic um, diseases also we advise to uh, to um, to use the donor program and um, also um, especially in patient over 40 when the the problem occurs it's it's uh, we emphasize that the, the time for them is shorter and we uh, we um, encourage them to to go faster for the donor program than the younger one of course because we know that the successful rate after 40 years old is um, is lower and uh, the time for them run uh, run uh, very fast all right thank you again for uh, your question and for uh, your expertise as well and uh, there are other questions coming up right now so let me show you this one have you had cases where a recipient get health problems caused by the egg they uh, received no it's I don't remember it, no it's uh, it's impossible the only problem is when the, it's mm. No, I don't. Never you don't you do not remember it for us. It's it. Uh, I I don't find the reason how the egg. When we transfer only one or two uh, embryos, uh, and when the recipient it is uh, have a, uh, don't have a, any health problems, it uh, in my opinion it shouldn't be a problem uh, with the health. Of course, it can happen that uh, in the uh, during the developing. Uh, uh, Pregnancy could be uh, okay. uh, occur uh, some uh, health problems, but it is difficult to uh, to find it and uh, uh, evaluate it uh, mm -hmm. before a donor program. It's not uh, even if the um, health problem occurs during the pregnancy. Usually, it's not because of the egg. It's just because of the whole status of the woman and the pregnancy and it's not because uh, of the egg the donation we do not have any uh, any problem with our patient because of that mm -hmm. thank you for that as well and uh, we have uh, another question can you explain describe that the process uh, the process uh, is for the recipient as in time number of visits in poland etc including what kind of procedure medis medicine the receiver has to take and if it has to be picked up in poland uh, in our i have i can explain how it uh, works in our clinic usually we um, and we um, have a email contact or the contact via internet uh, and we um, um, talk with the patient and just uh, the, 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 the egg donation the patient uh, then uh, uh, inform us and uh, that they want to have the donor program they have to uh, pay in advance then we look for the for the donation for them then we um, normally we encourage our patient to come in the um, cycle before the transfer then we per perform the the visit we uh, give our patient the medicaments and we do the um, embryo and um, we do the endometrium uh, scratching because we believe that uh, it helped us to uh, to introduce. to introduce the um, uh, to catheter. catheter inside the uterus and then we see if we will have any problem during uh, the embryo transfer and then patient come in uh, like about 10 uh, ninth 10th uh, uh, day of cycle and they uh, they uh, then stay in Poland for uh, about one week 
or 10 days and then we have some uh, ultrasound and we have uh, uh, we conduct the, the embryo transfer of course when we use uh, seven of husband uh, uh, it have to be uh, meet with this husband uh, before a start of program because we evaluate a semen uh, not only a basic uh, uh, tests but we uh, perform uh, more more tests because it is for us uh, important and we of course we vitrificate a semen uh, which we would be used in the donor program if it would be possible, we want to meet with a, a woman at, at this time because we can evaluate the uh, uterus and we can talk about uh, before uh, few, uh, previous programs and problems. And so, because sometimes uh, we can find this uh, feature can uh, could us uh, help uh, uh, not only prepare uh, embryos but uh, uh, especially to perform a donor program on this way to have a success. And thank you again for your question and describing the whole process for us as well. And uh, at this point, uh, I don't think we have any questions. It's, uh, just a discussion here, of course, about the Asian donors, but we already covered that. So I guess uh, we will be slowly finishing. So, um, okay, I believe there is one more. So, so let me go to that one. Um, here it is. I am already on monopo monopause, so but I must come the day for the period. How how can we do that? But it. Uh, perhaps if you could uh, just add a few words, what exactly you mean, Christina? That will help us a bit. As we said, also we are limited of the age in Poland, so um, right. of course, when there is area menopause before uh, forty nine, we perform uh, and we try to have uh, a good uh, uh, endometrium. On this way, this woman uh, should have uh, uh, hormones because when it is a menopause with uh, without bleeding. Uh, and this moment, the uterus is involute. Uh, it is uh, uh, smaller. And it is smaller, and of course, when we perform only one uh, cycle uh, to pre prepare uh, uh, um, uh, endometrium, it couldn't be a good quality. And on this way, in my opinion, it shouldn't be performed and uh, try to uh, uh, um, to have a good uh, endometrium. Uh, two free cycle before uh, a cycle when we introduce uh, when we uh, transfer uh, embryos to the uterus. It is more uh, complicated and complex problem, I think, and it needs uh, some more uh, personal uh, history da data, and uh, it's, it's hard to answer the question if we do not have no more uh, about the patient actually it's uh, it's um, it needs mm -hmm. more uh, more data that's wonderful of course so uh so of course remember that if you uh wish uh, to get some more answers uh, you can always send us uh, your drop your uh, drop us an email and we can always forward the details to uh, to both uh, Dr. Bogna and Dr. Swavomir, I am sure they, uh, they and of course the team, they will be able to get back to you and provide you a more detailed answer, okay? So I will put my email right here for anyone that would like to um, just get in touch or um, 
or simply will have any any questions as i've mentioned we will be finishing uh, so again thank you all for joining us and of course dr bognar dr thank you thank you, uh, thank you. So, um, thanks so much for for being with us today for uh supporting our stronger together action and um, it's it's uh, wonderful to have you here is there anything else you would like to shortly add no, it's just to would like to thank you for for being with us and listen to us. Thank you. Perfect. Thanks so much. Okay. And also I just wanted to to thank to again to all of you for for joining us. And uh, one more thing I would like to simply remind you of is that uh, we are going to be here tomorrow as well at 6 p.m. UK time and then at 8 p.m. UK time, as you know, uh, our uh, Stronger Together um, initiative it's going to be um, on throughout the whole month and uh, this again this is uh, possible for you to review uh, this uh, meeting but all other uh, online patient meetings are available on our website uh, myivfanswers.com you can also follow us on uh, youtube channel facebook um, and also instagram you will be up to up updated about all of our um live events and uh, well i guess that will be it from me today as well thank you so much for joining again and and so i hope to see you here tomorrow as well thank you again dr bogna dr. and uh, have a lovely evening and take care and stay safe bye, bye. thank you bye